Hey guys, Bradley Sutton from Helium 10 here. And today's pro training video is about two of our tools. One is Magnet and one is Frankenstein and how you can export your results that you find in Magnet to Frankenstein and why you would even want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and go into a search. I'm right here in Magnet 2 and I'm going to search for collagen peptides. And as you guys know, this is going to search all different keywords that could be related to collagen peptides. There's gonna be Spanish words here. Uh, there's gonna be long words like protein powder for women. Look at that, uh, there's no collagen or peptides in there. Um, there's no collagen or peptides here. This is a complete Spanish word here. So this gave us 978 words. Now that's a lot of keywords. You're thinking, you know what? I really just want to see what kind of keywords have high search volume and make sure those are in my listing. All right. So I'm going to put a couple of filters in here. I, I want to say uh, word count, at least two words. And I want stuff that's uh, searched at least, let's say 750 times per month, right? All right, I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna take that 978, and now we're down to 127. That's hardly any at all, right? That was a big uh, drop off. But these are probably the highest search uh, products, or I'm sorry, keywords that have to do with collagen peptides. All right. So now this is a big list of keywords, 127, but that's not 127 individual words. That's actually 127 phrases. So this, uh, actual word count could be in the hundreds, right? So let's see exactly how much it is. Watch this. I am going to go and I'm going to hit export. I can save this all to a CSV file or an Excel. A lot of you guys might do that. You want to save these keywords for another project down the road. Totally fine. But in this exercise, I'm going to export it directly to Frankenstein, our keyword processor. All right. Here it is. Two, and it gives you right away the total count, 2,600 characters, 378 words. Like I said, it was probably not, what did I say, 127. It was hundreds of keywords uh, because, you know, there's multiple word phrases there. So now what do I do with this information? Why did I even need that? Well, if I'm going to eventually check if every word is in my listing, I don't want to have all of the um, duplicates. For example, look, collagen is probably listed 50 to 60 times is probably one of the words in all of these. I don't want to list those a bunch of times. So it's not really 378 words. My question is how many unique words were in that magnet uh, search results? So I'm going to remove the duplicates, uh, convert to lowercase. I'm going to remove common words. I don't care if it's the or then or are in there. And I'm going to remove single letters. A, I don't care if I, I am looking for that keyword. All right. So now watch what happens. I'm going to process it within half of a second. It gives me my final list of all unique keywords that were in my magnet search, and it's only 100. That's a very manageable number to now go take and you know do some further research or possibly just use uh, scribbles to make sure that they're in my listing. So again, if you're working in magnet, you could take your results and export it directly to Frank's Frankenstein so that you can check how many actual unique words that are not common words, that are not single letters, uh, were in your search results. Thanks, guys. Yeah.